Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursdays, a series in which I show you the best silver players in previous FIFAs that you may not have seen before. As I mentioned in the first episode two weeks ago, I'm going to firstly going to be looking at the FIFA 10 silvers and then move on to the FIFA 11 silvers. So in this episode we're going to be looking at the FIFA 10 Bundesliga silvers. So firstly we'll look at the defenders and I've stuck the goalkeeper in here as well as there's only one real standout goalkeeper and the Portuguese goalkeeper that stands out is Fernandes, plays for VFL, I think that's Bosham, something like that who are now in Bundesliga 2 but back then in FIFA 10 they were in the Bundesliga and he looks like a very very nice goalkeeper 79 diving 87 reflexes 66 handling no other really good stats for the 87 reflexes stands out a lot and if I'm not mistaken I think this may actually just be a normal card not an upgrade or in form I think it is a normal card and anyway, next player is Ronnie the left back who a lot of you noticed on the thumbnail and he is probably the best left back we've ever had in terms of shooting on any FIFAs in terms of silvers as well so he's got 77 pace, 69 dribbling, 70 defence, 92 shooting and 76 passing. Absolutely ridiculous stats for a silver left back. The 92 shooting is probably the highest shooting I've ever seen in a silver player. I think Rhodes came close with 90, the man of the match one a, a few years ago. But that Ronnie in FIFA 10 was ridiculous. He was an upgrade uh, when he moved from a Brazilian team to Hertha. But yeah, he had absolutely ridiculous stats. Next player is Breno, who I think is also an upgrade. I'm not too sure though, as informs back in FIFA 10 didn't actually have black cards, so it's quite easy to get confused between upgrades and informs, things like that. But either way, he's a very, very nice card. Plays for Bayern Munich then. I think now he's in prison or something like that. That's why he hasn't been playing for Bayern Munich. He does have, did have 80 pace, 80 defence and 82 heading though. An incredibly solid centre back. On to the next defenders, and there were a few other defenders, a few other notable centre-backs, which I had to include. First is Friedrich for Bayer Leverkusen, 70 pace, 76 defence, 82 heading. Not as good as some of the others, but it's, again, incredibly solid stats, and a lot of you probably would easily would use him this year easily if he was on the game. Vorsa is another one who I think definitely was an upgrade, and he got upgraded from, I think it was a centre-defensive mid to a centre-back, 74 rated with 75 pace, 84 defence and 83 heading. Absolutely crazy stats. You don't see those sort of stats and informs this year or I haven't seen those sort of stats and informs in the last few years so hopefully they will do some informs or upgrades with those sort of stats as they were crazy stats for Silver. And the last player is the Austrian centre-back here for Werder Bremen, who back then did have pace. Nowadays, I think his inform card this year only had about 50-something pace. But back then in FIFA 10, he had 74 pace, 75 defence and 82 heading. So another really nice, solid centre-back. On to the midfielders now, and sadly I wasn't able to show you all of the players I wanted to show you, as a lot of them are incredibly rare, and if they're not on footwiz, then they are so, so hard to find now. But I did find most of them, and I can still talk to you about a few of the players I remember. So first of the players is Gustavo who back then played for Hoffenheim, has had 73 pace, 76 dribbling, 75 defence, 72 heading and 73 passing. He did in fact receive a 74 rated in form, which I do remember but I just can't find the stats for. But you can kind of imagine the sort of stats he'd have. He'd have close to 80 defence, close to 80 dribbling, probably close to 80 pace and passing as well. So he had really solid stats, the in form card, but I just can't find the stats of that. Mike Aswell is another Brazil silver who played for Hoffenheim. Obviously, the Mike Aswell now plays for Udinese and then did, did go to the Liga de Brazil for a few years. But back then, he played for Hoffenheim and a strong link there between Gustavo and Mike Aswell. So yeah, back then he had much better stats as a silver card than this year's Mike Aswell. He had 84 pace, 81 dribbling, 72 shooting. Not sure if he had the 5-star skills or not. Probably more than likely he had 4-star skills, but still really, really nice. The player that did have 5-star skills, though, was Marin, who obviously signed for Chelsea and is now on loan at Sevilla. Back then for Werder Bremen as a silver, had 84 pace, 87 dribbling, 69 shooting and 76 passing. And if I'm correct, I do remember him having 5-star skill moves and 4-star weak foot. May have even been five star weak foot but I'm not too sure do have a couple more midfielders to show you and the first of these is the Austrian centre attacking mid Ivanschitz. I think that's how you pronounce his name probably completely wrong but he did have fairly nice stats there not as good as some of the other players but still a really nice player in terms of shooting and passing next player you've got is Elson who actually received and it was an either an inform or an upgrade so you can tell the sort of stats he's had there but again he's one of those players that is really hard to find and I just couldn't find the upgrade again you can probably tell the sort of stats that he had the upgrade or inform whatever it was had probably around sort of 80 pace 80 dribbling high 70s in terms of shooting and passing as well so what probably would have been as good if not better than Mike as well 
And the last midfielder I'm going to show you now is Tony Cruz. I thought I'd show him not because he's got incredibly good stats, but just because he's the top player in this sort of FIFA. He's a goal in this FIFA, so that'll be interesting to show what his card was like back then. Had 69 pace, 77 dribbling, 72 shooting, and 77 passing. So a fairly good centre attacking mid, not as good as Elson or Mike as well, but well worth trying out back in FIFA 10. Before we move on to the strike, it's probably well worth mentioning that there were even better midfielders that I just couldn't find. There was an upgraded centre defensive mid for Bayer Leverkusen who was incredibly solid, but I just couldn't find his stats. And also there was an informed Marco Royce as 74 rated right mid. And again, he's a player that I can't find the stats of, but you can sort of tell the sort of stats that he'd have, probably around 80 something pace, 80 something shooting, incredibly good stats. So lastly, we have the strikers. I've only got a couple of strikers to show you here as they weren't amazing back then. A few of them are pretty nice. You've got Muller, who again, like Cruz, is really good nowadays in these current FIFAs. And back then it was a silver. So I thought I'd show you him. He's got an okay, he's got okay stats. 79 pace, 69 dribbling, and 71 shooting. Not incredible stats though. Lewandowski did have amazing stats though. This is actually an inform. I don't know why Footwiz have made the card look like a non-shiny or a non-rare, but he was actually informed. So just look at the stats there. Had 83 pace, 75 dribbling, 77 shooting, and 70 heading. If I remember, he was absolutely amazing. Amazing. He was an absolute tank back then. And then you've also got Schurler, who I'm showing, showing this normal card here only because he did actually have an inform card. The inform card was another card that I couldn't find, but I did talk to someone who did remember the sort of stats on the cards. So if I remember, he did have around sort of 85 pace, high 70s in terms of shooting, 70s in terms of dribbling, and then also had five star weak foot and I think possibly four star skill moves. So you can sort of tell the stats he'd have there and it would have been an absolutely amazing striker. So there we go guys, that is it for today's Throwback Thursdays. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give me a like and let me know which players you prefer. Do you prefer the players back from FIFA 10 with those sort of stats? Or do you prefer how, how silvers are nowadays? Just let me know in the comments section of the video. Anyway though, thanks for watching guys. Cheers.